<laughs> Why am I looking like that? Hi, ladies and gentlemen, and everybody in between. I am back with somebody else's hair, and I'm here for another Get Ready With Me. In this Get Ready With Me, we're going to be doing a little wig, a little makeup, and we're going to chat about how I'm a 35-year-old follower. But before we do that, we're going to get into this beautiful closure wig so this wig is from reshine hair i want to say thank you to reshine hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring a portion of this video this is the beautiful wig it is a hd lace closure 30 inch loose deep wave wig i did bleach the knots on this wig because the knots did not come bleached but i bleached the knots on them and it was easy to bleach next we need to pluck it a little bit now this wig is pre-plucked but y'all know me I'm team too much. I do a little bit too much sometimes and I decided I want to pluck it. So I plucked it a little bit and what I do is pluck it behind the hairline. Now this is the first time I've plucked my hairline wet. 10 out of 10 would recommend, but you know, I went down the over plucked lane, but that's okay. We can fix it. But before we fix that, I'm gonna go ahead and flatten this hairline. Now, when I flatten my hairline, I use the Shea Moisture Wig and Weave Mousse, it does a pretty good job. And we're also gonna use the Frizz Free, Shea Moisture Frizz Free Curl Mousse. We're doing all of this while the hair is wet and it worked out, it saved me time. Now I'm just gonna brush through the curls with my Evolve 572 brush and I'm gonna comb through the hairline and make sure all of that product has been worked through. Next, we need to dry the wig. Now, this wig dryer is everything. I'll leave a link for it down below, but I'm also gonna use the OGX, what is this, Air Dry Curls Cream, and I'm gonna add it to the ends of the hair to clump together those curls. I'm kind of regretting it. I think those air, that Air Dry Curls stuff kind of dries out the curls, so probably won't be using that anymore because I've tried it a few times and I don't think it's working. So I'm just gonna scratch up the curls and next, we're gonna go ahead and dry the wig. Now, I'm gonna dry the wig with my Amazon wig dryer, but to speed it up, this is a little hack. I'm also gonna use a hooded dryer. So I use both at the same time. Now, make sure your light ain't gonna go out. That's a lot of electricity. Now, I need to tint the lace. Of course, I'm using my Calendaric Lace Tint Spray, and I'm just gonna dry it till it's set. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and do my little faux hairline. Now, my baby hairs was a little bit too big. I had to fix it later, but we do the faux hairline just so the edges look real. Now, we're gonna do the no ball cap method. Wig grip, wig cap, toss it on, that's it. Look at this hairline. Look at it, it looks good. Now, once I flatten it, you really be able to see what I'm talking about, but this HD lace was HD lacing to me. I decided to pull my wig cap just a little bit further back girl it looked i look bald headed in the front <laughs> i don't have a lot of hair in the front which is good for wigs so next i'm gonna go ahead and cut off the lace and then we're gonna go ahead and apply the wig i'm gonna use the wig dealer spray spray it onto the forehead and then i'm gonna pull back some of those baby hairs because i did way too many just to get those out the way and we're just gonna pull down the wig and lay it down one thing i love about closure wigs especially hd closure wigs it takes one pull down you ain't got ear tabs to windmill with nothing girl just lay the lace down and you are done now this is what it looks like with no baby hairs it looks so good but we need baby hairs just to coat to cover up that closure part this is where it comes to fixing my over plucking even though i plucked a little bit more i don't like big baby hairs i kind of regretted that because girl the tracks was kind of tracking but that's okay as long as you give me 50 feet, you won't be able to see it. So I'm gonna take my baby hairs and I'm just gonna lay it down using, I think I used like a spray instead of a gel. So it's not so harsh, but I did the same thing on the other side as well. I plucked it out, cause y'all know, like I said, I love thin baby hairs. I'm gonna chop those down and then double them back, loop them back backwards so they cover up that lace. Now that that's done, girl, all we have to do is melt the hairline we didn't even need to do that as you can see it's fully melted but i'm gonna do it anyway i'm gonna go ahead and put up the hair and then melt the hairline for maybe about i would say like 10 minutes yes 10 minutes we melted it and once we took it off baby look at this hair it is so long so juicy so full 
It is nice, girl. Watch me shimmy and shake. So pretty. If you're interested in this wig, I'll leave it down below. I'll leave my coupon code down below as well for 10% off. You can go ahead and check it out. Pick it up if you like it. Thank you again to Reshine Hair. Now let's go ahead and get into this face and this chat. Let's have a little girl hey, talk. We're done with the wig. Now let's go ahead and get into this face. I have a matcha green tea while we sit and chat and do our makeup. Mm -hmm. All right, so the face I have planned for today is something really simple because frankly, girl, it's hot outside and we about to go to lunch and I don't want to be caking up makeup on my face. I look a fool outside in the daytime with like 10 pounds of makeup. It'd be cute on the inside and then you walk outside and it's just layers, frosting. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to go ahead and pull the hair back. I wonder how this is going to go. Like this closure, the HD lace is HD lacing y'all know i like to show off a little hairline hairline <laughs> hairline <laughs> look how it's melted it's so cute okay now let's go ahead and get into the face we're gonna make this quick simple easy some of these makeup products you've seen in other get ready with me's and we just gonna play it by ear you know what i'm saying so we're gonna do something like i said easy and simple i'm not gonna do a foundation i'm gonna do this skin tint the lip bar skin tint i really do like this skin tint so I'm going to start with the Lip Bar Skin Set Primer with Rose Water. I'm telling you, this, for it to be like affordable and from, from Target, it is great. Why am I sweating? I'm hot. It's warm in here. I love using it because it kind of blurs out my pores. Now, next, let's go ahead and use... I like to set my primer with this NYX spray. I just am addicted to the NYX spray. This is a Bear With Me Prime Set and Refresh spray. Ooh, ooh. And then lastly, we're gonna add a new product because I wanna look glowy. I'm gonna use the Skin Glow from Lip Bar. It's in the color Pretty Penny. That's me. <laughs> and I'm gonna, I don't know if I want to add it to my skin tint or just add it underneath the foundation. I think I'm gonna add it underneath the foundation just to add a little bit of glow, but look how pretty that is. I've used it before. Oh, it's so pretty on the skin too. But I'm gonna use it like right in the areas that your girl likes to glow. Why is that skin set primer like? has like a little whitish it kind of reminds me of um why does it remind me of um y'all remember when we used to put ms not msm um milk of magnesia well, y'all remember when we used to do that we was tearing up our skin from the bottom to the top i know we were do y'all see that glow it's like a light glow it's kind of like a it is like a pretty penny uh-huh this is nice Okay, so the foundation is going to be the Just a Tint 3-in-1 Skin Conditioner SPF. It has SPF and Hyaluronic Acid. Not me uh, <laughs> reading the ingredients on camera, girl. Relax. I'm going to use um, my fingers because I haven't applied it with my fingers yet. And I want to see what it gives when you apply it with your fingers. <clears throat> I thought a skin tint was supposed to like look like something else but it looks like a foundation what's the difference between a skin tint and like a, a tinted moisturizer like is a skin tint because look at that look at all that coverage i got is my face darker than my body no it's about the same color is this right i don't know girl i'm hoping okay so i'm gonna go wash my hands real quick and then we're gonna get into doing the rest of the face girl we only gonna be talking for like five minutes it's not gonna take that long to do this face Y'all know I like to run my mouth, so bussy. The foundation color I just used was in the color Almond Joy, and then I'm gonna use Caramel Delight for the highlights, so under my eyes, up the nose, all of that. And then to set it, um, I'm gonna use this lip bar palette that I've used almost in every single Get Ready With Me. Are y'all sick of me? And I'm gonna use Y'all know I love the blush, but I'm going to use the other side of the blush um, for daytime. I'm going to use this NYX blush Wonder Stick in the color 
coral because there are two sides i always do deep peach but coral coral is really pretty for the daytime so let's go ahead and get started we're gonna go ahead and start by putting this under our eyes i was talking about makeup or thinking about the other day right now i'm in a phase i'm in a phase of my life where you know like i'm more engaged with social media than i've ever been because this is now my full-time job and i was thinking about like how um how much more i'm spending on things looking good i started buying coach bags coach bags was a stretch for me because <laughs> i was very much a uh forever 21 charlotte ruth get a cute little bag sort of girl uh, haven't really gotten into the shoes like that but i was like wondering have y'all felt like that lately because i'm supposed to be getting a new car soon because y'all know my car is kaput she's gone if you watch my vlogs you should know that my i've had my nissan she is paid off baby no payments i own her she is mine but now it's time for me to get a new car now that i'm in the market for a new car girl what i've been looking at <laughs> The bracket isn't tax bracketing. I was looking at hybrids and I was like, oh, what the hybrid, what the, not hybrids. I was looking at, um, what do you call that? Um, uh, just an all electric vehicle. And I was like, oh, I could do, um, I could do it. Let's see what they got for the luxury. First, I was looking at Volvos. So I wanted something nice. Um, so when I started looking, you know, I started going down a rabbit hole. Like first I was looking at Lexus and then I was looking at, I started going down a rabbit hole and then I went, girl, I went too far and I went to the BMW electric SUV. That thing was six figures. I said, girl, where are you going? Where are you going? And before I knew it, I was like, do I actually want this or do I want it? Because I want to be like that girl, you know what I'm saying? And I've never been. That girl, if you know me, you know I am cheap. Y'all see this makeup that I'm wearing? <laughs> Hello? I was wondering, I was like, is it because I've been in, on social media and I'm like ingesting that stuff and it's like getting into my head or do I actually want it? You know, like, have y'all experienced that before? Cause that's where I'm at right now. I be sitting in my house thinking like, do you actually want this? Or like with the coach bags, I started buying those cause I was like, I do need to start buying nicer bags or more quality bags. But I'm wondering are coach bags even more quality? Like what does quality even mean anymore? The more that I start to engage with social media in the way that I do now, the more of a consumerist I've become. And it's like, if you don't check it or like, if I don't check it and interrogate what I'm thinking, we're gonna get into the blush and coral. I will start going down a rabbit hole. I thank God that I um, didn't get, like didn't start on social media until, you know, late 20s, mid 20s. Because I do think there's a difference. Like now I'm kind of set in my ways. It doesn't mean like, lifestyle doesn't creep up on you oh this is pretty i feel like i'm not gonna end up like just trying to flex but i do have a little flex in me like a little bit like i just now started decorating my house and the way have you do y'all notice y'all do this or maybe it's just an influencer thing where i start to think about my surroundings and what they look like from the other side of the camera that is nuts that's crazy. That's why I'm afraid to get into like luxury because I feel like once you get into it, like how do you stop? Like it seems like it's a hell of a drug. <laughs> I've been trying to figure out like maybe I should stop being on, maybe I need to slow down. Um, because the girls I like to watch, like they're, you know, like my age, maybe a little bit younger, mid, well, girl, my age is 35. The girls I like to watch are, you know, like in their 20s, like living their life and it's great, but their reality is completely different from mine. And I feel like, I don't know how to describe it. I feel like I'm trying to be careful and not end up, you know, trying to be like a 25 year old, <laughs> but it's so enticing. I've never been like a luxury, luxury girls. I like really, really cute stuff. But like luxury, I haven't really gotten into. And I feel like people 
people that know luxury like no luxury like my husband is more of like a luxury person like we're complete opposites um i'm not he likes really really nice quality things like with fabrics and stuff like he loves that type of stuff i'm not like that girl if the cheaper i can get it and the nicer it is i'm happy about it so i'm wondering like i'm afraid that that's gonna change for me and if it does change is that bad you know what i'm saying know if what i'm talking about is making sense maybe it's because i don't have a house or something maybe it's because i'm a millennial and there we've been told that we need to have certain milestones before we do anything maybe that's it i don't know one thing that I, I think my brain does is like stuff that i can't afford i literally don't want it i can't get attracted to it because i can't afford it i'm putting some powder on my eyebrows Ooh. I'm using the NYX micro brow pencil. This part of me also that's trying to balance out thinking like, you know what? That's nice and you like it. So you should get it. Maybe I don't lie, allow myself to have nice things because I don't think I deserve it. You know what I'm saying? Or am I just smart? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier powder i just need to use it around my mouth because i feel like these smile lines are about to come in and wreak havoc on my face girl this is this was quick i'm telling y'all okay so i'm gonna use the nyx lip pencil in the color rebel kind Girl, why is my face alabaster? <laughs> we're not doing eyeshadow today because uh, I don't feel like it, girl. And we're just going to lunch. So I only need to be like mildly cute. You know what I'm saying? Like a little bit cute. I'm going to use Peach Stock in MAC from MAC. I need to put a little bit more chapstick on. But you know, I think we're all figuring out, like even if it's not about like the cost of an item, it's just about like my style. And I feel like social media does a good job of like influencing us like to expand our palettes. But sometimes I feel like it can be limiting too. Um, like I don't really know what my style is either. Like I know I'm starting to get into it now. But then, like, I'll go online and I'm like, ooh, I want to look like that. I just don't want to be homogenous. I think it's different nowadays. Um, I think being someone that's in their 30s or someone that's in my 30s, I know y'all sick of hearing me saying this, but I'm now being reflective. When I was younger, we just didn't have, uh, like, social media like that. Like, even in college, I think we just had Facebook. But influencing wasn't a thing. So, like, my identity was created off of people that I idolized that were, like, you know what I'm saying? People that I watch, like, Beyonce, and, like, I, I, the image would just be her. But then there's so many other images that I'm seeing. I'm seeing hundreds of images a day that now I, like, it's harder for me to figure out, like, what I like versus, like, am I just been told to like it? Like if I see the same thing over and over again, I may be told to like it. Cause like the Yeezy shoes, ugly to me. All of them, okay? Don't like them. I just don't get it. But I be wondering, does everybody else think they're actually cute? Or are y'all, like do y'all actually think they're cute? Like did you think they were cute when they came out? Or did everybody wear them and then you thought it was cute? Like sometimes I be thinking like, am I in the matrix? Like what is going on? Maybe I'm just not stylish like that. I'm not a fashion girl, so don't ask me nothing. Anyways, put on some mascara. This is the color. This is Smashbox Super Fan Fanned Out Mascara. I'm gonna end up spraying my face down, so if it look a little ashy, don't worry about it, girl. It'll it'll settle in. Don't worry about it. Don't be scared. I'm a little bit scared, but don't be scared. Ooh, pretty. Okay, and I think I'm just gonna put a lip gloss over top and then we're done, girl. I need to go to lunch. I'm hungry. But I'm just gonna blend some of this too. Because.
because it do look a little bit bright. It look a little bit, it look a little bit much. This was supposed to be natural and I feel like I was trying not to look like a cake face. <laughs> it's giving cupcake. I'm just taking whatever is on my bronzer and I like to just spread it all over the face so I don't look like white cast. And we're going down the neck too. Oh, I feel like this is pretty. Y'all, my makeup be the same every day. Are y'all tired of me? I'm late. Is there any like drugstore makeup brands that you'd like me to try? Y'all let me know down below because I'm still like a drugstore girl at heart. I do, I feel like I do want to try some luxury stuff, but I'm scared, friend. I'm scared. Oh, it's my control. I don't want to have control over my desires after this. Like, you know, once you start liking something, you're like, oh, girl, I'm a luxury girl now. I don't know. Girl, what am I talking about? Let me spread my face down. <laughs> I'm going to take some Amazon hoops. Girl, I love a good Amazon hoop. And this set is from Amazon as well. Y'all have seen this, seen me in this set so many times. At this point, it's a uniform. See, that's fine. Okay. But these hoops are super cute. You can get it in a pack of like, there's like 10 or 12 like pieces of um, jewelry in it. Love that for us. I need to get some new like necklaces and stuff. Ooh. Okay, so I'm gonna throw like a little top over this. Okay, I need to wipe that armpit, my armpit. Oh, oh this is so pretty. Y'all look at this hairline and look at the skin. Um, My cheeks are glowing a little bit more since I used that skin glow from lip bar. I feel like it's, my mouth is a little bit. Oh, that's better. I just need to put a little bit of bronzer down on the bottom of my face. <laughs> Why am I looking like that? So this is the face. Ooh, can you see that track? I hope not. <laughs> I need to hurry up, girl. We still haven't had lunch and I'm sitting here running my mouth with y'all. Y'all tell me what you think we were just talking about below. With these chit chats, I'm really gonna be talking about stuff that be on my brain and it really do be a lot. And I can just spit it out and we can talk together. So this is the look with the hair. I'm gonna spray some perfume. Let me tell you, this is a mess. Empty. Girl, that's empty. Give it up. Trash it. Put it in the trash, girl. It don't want you no more and you don't want it. There's nothing in here. My Elizabeth, what is this? S.A. Lauder. I was about to call it Elizabeth Arden. <laughs> I'll just be hanging on the bottles. Okay, and this is broken. The devil don't want me to smell good. This is the Good Chemistry Tiger Lily perfume. I love this stuff. Speaking of being influenced, I saw this on Instagram. I saw a girl did this. So I was like, oh, I wanna try that. <laughs> like one of these shirts over like a set like this for like a casual moment, but but do it like this, like like this. Hold on, is this cute? Or is this trying too hard? Like, am I giving try hard? <laughs> what am I giving? Or should it just be like this? Hopefully you enjoyed this get ready with me. I feel like this is not giving. Can y'all can y'all tell me where do I think I'm going in this? 90 degree weather with the long sleeve shirt. <laughs> All this stuff's from Amazon though. Everything on me is Amazon. And I'm probably gonna bring my little blue coach bag because why not? Amazon, a nine west watch, Amazon necklace. This one's the necklace my husband bought me. Amazon top and then this Amazon set, but I kind of wanted to mix it up. Like this, I don't know if that's cute. I feel like it's cute. Like I'm starting to like it. I don't know. But yes, this is a finished look. I hope you enjoy that look a fool with that one shoulder down with all this hair. <laughs> Anyways, I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed. I wanna say thank you again to Reshine Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. And y'all tell me what you think about what we talked about today or what. I was spitballing. The stuff that was on my mind today, y'all let me know. So, I love you all. Thank you so much for watching once again. And I'll see you in my next video. <laughs> I love you all.
Hopefully y'all have fun with me. All right. Bye.